I star spy. <laughs> <laughs> processing day our chickens are eight weeks old and today they're off to freezer camp so we wanted to go through and show you all of our entire setup and all the things that we use from start to finish and so we're starting down here you can see that I have got a toy here because we're gonna do it in a very family friendly way we're gonna show you what we're gonna do to this chicken over here so first off I start by <laughs> anyway, we're gonna scare the life out of them this time instead of uh there <laughs> all right i have my chicken i hold them upside down they're flapping and so i'm holding them and carrying them up the yard sometimes we try to have it a little closer to where we're starting but for today that's where they ended up on the pasture so i've got my chicken and by the time we get up to here it's probably stopped flapping his wings and his head and he's pretty catatonic so we're going to bring them up to the restraining cones. All right, this is our first stop. We have got two restraining cones we use two. We've tried it with one, with three, and with two. I find that using two is the best for our kind of workflow. So when he's here, we put him in and his head comes down here. His feet are up here. So we've got poor old uh, chicken. We have a very sharp knife and chicken's gone. So then we leave him here and everything is gonna drain out into this bucket. And while that's happening, I'm usually gonna go down and grab another chicken and have two. So then by the time this one is done, this one is ready to go. So imagine a few minutes have passed, everything is drained out. I haul the chicken out and we go over to our next area which is the scalder. We've got a propane tank, propane burner, and a scalder. And this should be 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is what we do. We usually check, make sure that's right. If it's too cold, the feathers will come off. If it's too hot, then the skin and the bird and the meat will actually all get scalded and be too hot. But um, this is, I mean, I don't, it's not real chicken, it's not a big deal. But, I'll check that it's 150 degrees. 150 is what works best for us. We find if we go up a lot of places, say up to 180, 190, and we find when we get up that high, you end up pressing the chicken. That's right. So we take the chicken and it goes in, and that takes about a minute. And what I'll do is I'll pull at the feathers, and when the feathers come out really easily, then I know that the chicken has been scalded completely. So then, once these all done being scalded, then we're gonna go over here. This is the plucker. So I put, I drop the bird in. I grab the hose. Then I'm not gonna do it, but uh, where's the bucket? Where's the, where's the button at? Panic situation. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> not panicking. That's why we check it all out beforehand. So I put him in the plucker, I grab the hose, and then I turn it on. I'm not gonna turn it on right now because I don't think that that plastic thing is gonna be good there. And then while he is knocking around, you're spraying him with the hose. So once he's all done, it usually takes, honestly, it's really, really fast. It takes, I think, a maximum of like 20 seconds. And once he's done, most of the feathers are off, almost all. Then it's time for me to hand them off to Dominic and Dee. So, chicken is done. We bring them over here, and then Dominic and Dean are here working their magic. Some of them, they're parting out, and some of them, they're just gutting and throwing all the guts in there. And then when the chicken is totally processed, we are popping them in the cooler. And that is the entire process from start to finish. And we do that all day. And then the next day we will pack them up. We usually leave them in here to rest. There's a lot of uh, different ideas about how long you leave them in the cooler to rest. Some people will throw them in the deep freeze right away. And some people will let them rest, let rigor mortis kind of come and go. And then when they're nice and soft, then freeze them. We prefer to just let them rest and let all the rigor mortis go out of them, have them relax. And then we put them in the freezer and enjoy them whenever we're cooking dinner.
I didn't hit record. Is it really? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay, we're kind of slowly getting ready here, but it is starting to rain. So I think I'm gonna move the camera into the shelter and um, see if you can see anything from there. The next day and we got a ton of rain I think it was like 30 to 50 millimeters we finished processing the birds in a record-breaking two and a half hours of 30 birds um, just uh, processing not butchering or anything so Dominic and Dean were out today in the rain in the shelter fortunately um, parting out did you part out 15 they parted out 15 of the birds. So we're going to make some ground chicken, have chicken breasts, all that kind of stuff. And then tomorrow, Dominic and I will actually bag them. So this was their uh, work setup for today. It is day three of uh, chicken processing. It's uh, it, it, it kind of gets into a big process. Um, I've got the uh, the food saver out. So when we part it out into like breasts and thighs and different pieces, then it kind of takes a lot longer because you got to do the food saver. We do the breasts. I'm also um, grinding up some of the thighs for ground chicken. <laughs> And now Dominic is outside setting up for the bagging of the whole chickens that we have. He's out there. Anyway, working hard. We are going to get all set up, keep going, and I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, it's a little while later and we're just about ready to start bagging the rest of the chickens. They've been sitting in a cooler inside there um, since the last two days and we're gonna wrap it all up now by bagging the last of the chickens. So how this worked was two days ago we did the processing and then they went in the cooler. Yesterday, yesterday Dominic and Dean parted out about half of the birds and so I bagged the breast and some of the thighs and ground up some of the thighs and that's all inside. Gonna go in the deep freeze and the very last process of this whole thing is now to bag the rest of the birds. So that's what we're gonna do now. dry Dominic is bagging up these guys these are special bags that Dominic ordered that when you put them in the scalder they'll kind of shrink wrap the birds so you got to put them in poke a hole put them in there they'll shrink wrap and then you stick them in. So that's what we're doing. All right, so I was down here with the weigh scale and the Sharpie. And as we take them out, we mark the poundage. These are between like 4.6. And I think the biggest one was about 6.3 pounds. So I think that that's really good for eight weeks of birds. They look really good. We did something different this time that we haven't done before after 
uh, before they went in the scalder, I put them in like a bucket of cold water. I saw someone do it online. I thought it was more just like to rinse them off because they get really dirty. Um, I didn't find that, that worked, but we did find that they didn't get like before they would like get scalded and the skin would all kind of come off. And that didn't happen this time. Um, not one chicken came out of the plucker with the breast skin ripped off, which we've that's always never done. happened before. Yeah. So. So I don't, and that was the only thing that we changed, but we did have a better handle on the temperature, but we used a, te a thermometer last year as well. So I don't know. Might be the bucket. Might so be the bucket of water. Keep trying it. Yeah, that might worked be, out. You might be just getting better at eyeballing the two. I doubt it. I'd say these chickens could have been bigger. I think the heat waves in the last two mm -hmm. weeks, um, you know, they do a lot more laying around than eating. I, I, you notice, usually you put in new food for these guys and they're going crazy trying to eat as much as they can as fast as they can these guys were much more relaxed and you know i think the heat got to them a little bit yeah i didn't like that too much yeah i don't like to eat in the heat I get pretty hot they'd all go back in the back of the shelter in the shade so don't know could have been that but still i think that's fine size for eight weeks yeah. not bad okay so i'm down at the deep freeze everything is in here we have got whole chickens chicken breasts chicken thighs ground chicken and everything in the deep freeze so that's pretty much a wrap on the whole chicken processing and we have also moved the broilers out to the pasture these are the ones that were in the shed now that this is empty they're moved out here and they'll stay here for the next few weeks so that's pretty much it on processing our own chickens this was our fourth time processing chickens at home we did two rounds last year we've done two rounds so far this year and we had never done it before we've never attended a workshop we never went to anyone's house before everything we learned we learned from like watching videos on youtube basically and um i must say that if you want to do this and you're kind of nervous you should definitely just take a crack at it. It's not as hard as you think it is. There's lots of really great free information online on how to do the butchering, what to do. I hope this video was somewhat helpful for you. I know that it's not down to the like all of the fine details, but um, that's pretty much what we do. I can link some videos that might be helpful for learning how to butcher the chickens uh, in the description below. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an excellent week. We'll see you again later. Bye-bye.